Catherine von Drakenberg, known as Kat Von D, is an American tattoo artist, model, entrepreneur and music artist. She is best known for her work as a tattoo artist on the TLC reality television show LA Inc., which premiered in the United States on August 7, 2007, and ran for four seasons. She is also known for being the former head of Kat Von D Beauty. In May 2021, Kat Von D released her first single Exorcism from her soon-to-be-released album Love Made Me Do It. Chapter 1, Early Life Catherine von Drakenberg was born in Monte Morelos, Nuevo Leon, Mexico. Her Seventh-day Adventist church missionary parents, Father René and Mother Sylvia Galeano, were both German Argentines. Von D has a sister, Caroline and a brother, Michael. She moved with her family to the Inland Empire at age four and grew up in Colton, California. Von D was classically trained in piano beginning at age six. Kat Von D credits her grandmother, Clara von Drakenberg, as an inspiration for her in music and art, and the culture of San Bernardino County as a major influence on her tattoo art and style. She began listening to the Ramones, Misfits, and other punk rock bands at the age of 12. She got her first tattoo at 14 and quit school at 16 to become a tattoo artist. When she was 15, Von D was sent to Provo Canyon School for six months, where she says she suffered abuse. Chapter 2 Career Von D appeared in two seasons of Miami Inc., the reality TV show taped at 305 Inc. in Miami for the cable network TLC. She was offered the position after Darren Brass broke his elbow preventing him from tattooing. She had a falling out with Amy James, which led to her decision to leave the shop and the show. She subsequently acquired her own TLC series, LA Inc., which chronicled her work at her tattoo shop, High Voltage Tattoo, in Hollywood, California. On the show, she broke the Guinness World Record of most tattoos given by a single person in 24 hours, with a total of 400. Accomplished in December 2007, it involved a Von D designed logo for the city of Los Angeles, with proceeds going to the children's blindness charity Vitamin Angels. LA Inc. ran four seasons, ending September 15, 2011, TLC announced the cancellation on August 18, 2011. Von D has publicly said that the cancellation was because she chose not to continue doing the show. Her first book, High Voltage Tattoo, compiling her artworks and tattoos, with a foreword by Motley Crue's Nikki Six, was released in January 2009 and reached number six on the New York Times bestseller list. Von D described the book as not an autobiography, you know, cause I'm too young to do that. But this is just kind of like a picture-driven outline of my career as an artist. So, you see everything from my drawings when I was six to tattoos that have never before been seen. Her second book, the Tattoo Chronicles, an illustrated diary following a year in her life, was released October 26, 2010, and reached number three on the New York Times hardcover advice and miscellaneous bestseller list. In 2008, Von D created and launched a makeup line for Sephora. She has released new collections every year and has expanded her line to include fragrances. In 2012, through Sephora, her new American Beauty Art Tour benefited the Art of Elysium charitable organization. In June 2016, she announced that all products in the line would be reformulated to be vegan. In August 2016, the line released a limited edition lipstick named Project Chimps, with 20% of sales being donated to Project Chimps, an organization dedicated to providing care for retired research chimpanzees. Her makeup line later became mired in controversy after the release of a lipstick called Selection. The word Selection is considered widely controversial and inappropriate in its native Germany, where it was the term used by the Nazis to decide who would be chosen to either be put to work or death upon arrival to the concentration camps. The fallout led to the lipstick being renamed Beloved. The choice of Selection drew attention to other perceived insensitive acts, the forward called her anti-Jew. Von D fell under criticism again when she named a lipstick Celebutard, 
Sephora quickly pulled the lipstick from their stores and issued an apology. Von D is the creator of the Moosing to Two Convention and Music Festival, which began in 2008. Musink is an all-ages to two, music, and art festival located in Southern California. On September 2, 2010, Von D opened the Art Gallery and Boutique Wonderland Gallery in the space next door to High Voltage to two. She launched the clothing lines KVD Los Angeles and Kat Von D Los Angeles in the US and Canada in fall 2011, with the latter expanding internationally the following year. Kat Von D provided the female vocals to the song Rosary Blue on X, a 2012 studio album by the Finnish Gothic rock band The 69 Eyes. In August 2013, she tweeted that Dave Grohl and producer Danny Lorna had finished two tracks of an album she had talked about recording as early as 2011. In 2016, she recorded vocals for the electronic music duo, Prayers on the Song Black Leather, and appeared in the band's video for the song. In 2018, she collaborated with Rooney Mara, Sia, Sadie Sink, and Joaquin Phoenix to narrate Chris Delforce's animal rights documentary Dominion. For her contribution to the documentary, she was granted the 2018 Award of Excellence for Narration by Hollywood International Independent Documentary Awards. Bondi makes guest appearance on three songs on the 2018 album Alive in New Light by IMX. She also appeared on synthwave band Gunship album Dark All Day in the song Black Blood, Red Kiss. On January 16, 2020, Von D announced she had sold her namesake beauty brand to its parent company, Kendo Brands. The brand will be rebranded as KVD Vegan Beauty. According to the company the letters KVD now stand for Kindness, Vegan Beauty, and Discovery. Chapter 3 – Personal Life In July 2007, Von D decided to stop drinking after her usage of alcohol started to threaten her work. Von D recalled that getting sober was not easy for me, I still clearly remember the physical pain from withdrawals, the profound desire to die, and the overwhelming sense of loneliness I felt that day that I decided to quit. Von D has tattooed herself with the emblems of the band's hymn, Misfits, Turbo Negro, ZZ Top, Guns N' Roses, ACDC, Kent, Slayer, Mike Bot Spiked and Slutalica, a modified Metallica logo. She appeared in the music video of Hymns Killing Loneliness, Alkaline Trios Help Me, Gunship's Black Blood Red Kiss, and Black Leather by Cholo Goth Band Prayers. Other musical artists that Von D lists among her favorites include Lemmy Kilmister, The Mars Volta, and Selena. Von D is vegan, and promotes a cruelty-free makeup line. In 2016, she received Farm Sanctuary's Compassion in Action Award for her work on behalf of animal rights. Von D sparked controversy in a June 2018 Instagram post in which she indicated that she would refuse to vaccinate her future child and would also raise her child on a vegan diet. In March 2020, she said she made a mistake, was completely uninformed about vaccinations, and that she is not an anti vaxxer at all. Chapter 3 Section 1 Relationships Von D married fellow to two artist Oliver Peck in 2003. They separated in August 2007 and finalized their divorce later that year. Von D then dated Alex Orby Orbison from 2007 to early 2008, as was documented on the first season of LA Inc. Von D and Orbison move in together in the episode Cat Cleans Up, and in the last episode of the season, titled Orby's Secret. Orbison asks Von D's father for permission to marry her. By the first episode of season 2, their relationship was over. From February 2008 until January 2010, Von D dated Motley Crue bassist Nikki Six. She subsequently began dating motorcycle customizer, West Coast Chopper's CEO, and reality TV personality Jesse James. On August 19, 2010, Von D confirmed media reports that she and James were dating, tweeting, I think it's pretty obvious that we're dating. Von D and James became engaged in January 2011. Von D announced that they had split in July 2011. However, in August 2011, Von D and James announced that their engagement was back on. In September 2011, 
Von D announced that she and James had broken up again. In September 2012, Von D began dating Canadian music producer Joel Zimmerman, known professionally as Dead Mouse, and gave him a star tattoo below his eye to match her own. They broke up in November 2012. However, on December 15, 2012, Zimmerman proposed to Von D over Twitter, and she accepted, becoming engaged to him. In June 2013, Von D announced that she and Zimmerman had ended their engagement. Von D cited Zimmerman's alleged infidelity as the reason, which Zimmerman has denied. On February 21, 2018, Von D married artist Raphael Reyes. In November 2018, she gave birth to their son. Chapter 4 Media Von D was referred to in the Eagles of Death Metal song High Voltage which was named after her shop and is featured on their third album, Heart On. In an interview, Eagles of Death Metal's Jesse Hughes said, I wrote that for Kat Von D, because that girl's badass. Chapter 5, Selected Filmography In addition to cameo and talk show appearances, Von D's television, film, and video game appearances include Pimp My Ride, 2004 Miami Inc., 2005-2006 LA Inc., 2007-2011 MAD TV, April 5, 2008 Bam Margera Presents, Weather Sharp Dollar and Percent is Santa. 2008 The Bleeding is Vanya Tony Hawk, Ride, 2009 Lemmy, 2010. I Love Jenny, 2013. Life in Pieces, February 11, 2016. Dominion, 2018.